Have you ever tried to black out? To feel the blood in your fingers and toes just disappear? To see the world darken before your eyes as you slowly lose control over your balance and your body? I have. A lot. But when I black out, the world doesn't go dark, no. The world simply changes. It becomes strange. I was sitting in my classroom the first time I experienced it. I was looking at a poorly done drawing of a cat that I had made on my English notes. But suddenly I began to feel dizzy. You know, that deranged feeling of your movements getting slower. The feeling that your eyes are delayed and your head is getting heavier. My eyes couldn't focus. Everything became a blur of colors and lights. I closed my eyes quickly to try and stop it. I kept them closed for about five seconds before I opened them again. My vision had recovered and I felt fine. I decided to pack my things and go home. I said to my English teacher that I wasn't feeling well and I needed to leave. But she didn't reply. She didn't even look at me. She just stood there as if she was frozen. I walked up to her. Miss Rachel? At this point, the hairs on my arms were starting to stand like needles in the air. Miss... Miss Rachel? I was now standing directly in front of her, looking into her eyes, but... Something wasn't right. Her eyes weren't looking at me, no. Her eyes were dead or... Frozen. I could see the distended veins in her neck as she was shouting at another student. But she wasn't moving, she was... Frozen. I screamed for help, hoping that another classmate would run to my aid, but nothing happened. I quickly turned around. Why aren't you helping... Me? My throat clocked. I was standing there in the middle of my classroom, sweating, shaking, and afraid. But everyone else was just... frozen. I started to feel the blot disappear from my fingers and toes again. It felt like my legs didn't have enough power to keep me standing. I collapsed. Right when my head hit the ground, I woke up in my seat, looking at the poorly drawn cat again, as if nothing had happened. I decided to forget the incident, thinking it was just a dream, a very strange dream. But the next couple of weeks, I felt dizzy almost every day. My vision would become blurry and unfocused was demoralizing. I went to the doctor, but she just said it was normal for teenagers to feel dizzy because of the hormones in your body. But after my visit at the doctor, I started having weird dreams. Dreams of people with their mouths wide open, their eyes always following you. Dreams with deranged colors and music, odd music, music that makes you feel sick, music that should not exist, music that makes you feel frozen. What happens when you dream utterly strange things? Well, then you tend not to sleep as much. You start to get exhausted and what happens when you get exhausted, you get dizzy, and then you black out. I was standing outside my house, mowing the lawn when it happened again. All the same symptoms, the dizziness, the disappearance of blood in my fingers and toes, the blurry and unfocused vision, but this time it was different. 
My head felt incredibly heavy and my lungs started to feel blocked. I blacked out. It felt like everything disappeared. As if I didn't exist, but I was still the only thing existing. I stayed in this mental state for quite a while before I recovered my consciousness. It felt like a million small, blunt needles were penetrating my skin every second as I crawled towards the house and onto the porch where my mother was standing. Mom, help me. Help. I could taste the salt from the tears as they ran down my face while I was crying for my mother's help. But she didn't move. She just stood there with a kitchen knife in her hand, her mouth wide open, her eyes unfocused in her body, frozen. My heart was pounding as if it was trying to escape my body. I tried to back away on the stone porch as she approached me. But as the kitchen knife slowly approached my skin, I was completely and utterly frozen. But just as the tip of the blade broke through my chest, I woke up. Laying there on the hard, rugged stones, I was holding the kitchen knife in my hand, gasping for air as I just punctured my lung. But as I was laying there, bleeding, crying, all I felt was loneliness. But this time, I wasn't going to wake up. Everything was... frozen.